Here we are in Columbus, Ohio for the Division I State Finals here at the Schottenstein Center at Ohio State. First matchup on tap is at 103 pounds. We have Dean Heil from St. Ed's is wrestling Jack Young from Mentor. Young, quite a compelling story. Young is a adopted Russian. Came to, came to the United States in 2005. He has pinned his way through the tournament so far. A Greco specialist. He's going to want to look to go upper body. A real fun kid to watch. And I urge anyone interested in this story, there's an article in the News Herald, which can be found online. Search it after you watch this match. Kyle defeated the third ranked 103 pounder in the country, George Camille from Ignatius in semis in a huge win in terms of team standings for Eds. Eds comes into the finals trailing Wadsworth by four and a half. Both squads have six in finals and have their two head to head matchups at 35 and 45. As we introduce the wrestlers here, we're about to get going. A win here for Heil would be absolutely huge. Heil also is a top 10 ranked wrestler in most publications. Match number two, round 221, 103 pound championship match. Steve Blazer from the Yellowstone. Heil will be in black for St. Edwards. Young over here in the white from Mentors, attempting to be the first Mentor state Russell champion in over a decade and a half. 41 and 4 record, sophomore Ryan Taylor. And in okay. Division 1, one the team the score is going to be the big story as we go through these next 14 weight classes. I said four and a half points is the difference Eds has to make up. Eds has won 13. Eds has won 13 consecutive state championships. That is a record for all sports here in Ohio. And we are underway here at 103. Young initiates right off the whistle. Like I said, Young is not yet to go the distance here at the tournament, including a fall of 56 seconds. So Young's going to want to tie up. Young takes a shot from way far away. Kyle sprawls pretty much no problem. They're coming near the edge here. Minute 25 left in the first period. Go out, buck 21, still no score. Like I said, Kyle was impressive last night in holding off Di Camillo. Oh, I think it was a big upset for Ed, and certainly with them, there's a good deep shot by Heil, trying to convert, cuts it to a double, trying to elevate. No two yet, the Ed's crowd wants it. The Ed's crowd definitely wants it. Might see a stalemate here as we're getting tangled. And that's two. Two for Dean Heil now. Takes a 2 0 lead, 35 seconds left. The young fans behind me. Floor him the gap from bottom. Heil's got a really good ride going. Young's trying to work for a base, almost does. Immediately broken back down by Heil. He's got that forearm trap, not really much Young can do. And the end of the first, 2 0. Dean Heil for St. Ed's. Heil wins the toss, will take down to start the second. Immediately to his feet, cuts, extends his lead to 3-0. Young has some ground to make up here early. Kyle really pushing the action as we go out. 
15 seconds into the second period, 3-0 lead for Dean Heil. Young has a good crowd sitting behind me. Young takes a shot from kind of far out. Heil cuts that off pretty easily. Come near the edge. Heil tries to shoot through under oaks. That's not... Not going to be a good idea with Young, who's as talented of an upper body wrestler. Real developed up top for 103 pounder. Oh, Highland on a good shot. Finishes no problem and ends up 5 0 now. One minute left in, in the second period. This would go a long way to helping Edge in the team race. This is their first shot to make up ground on Wadsworth. Young up to his feet. And we'll go out of bounds, return to the center. 40 seconds left in the second. Still a 5 0 lead for Dean Heil of St. Edwards. Young tries to roll, but is cut off. Kyle's riding real tough. Now slips a boot in. Raff will blow it dead. Not much improvement. Kyle is going to get there. So a blow dead restart. 16 seconds left. It is imperative for Young to get out of here. Try and score before the whistle. Cut. Cut Hiles lead to four. As Young will have choice in third tries to switch off the whistle. Hiles cuts his hips off. Ten seconds to go now in the second. And Young is struggling from bottom now. Works up to a tripod, but he is two seconds, one second. He's gonna run out of time. And we move to the third. Five nothing lead for Dean Hiles. Again, every little point is gonna count. If he can stretch this lead three points, Young will take neutral to start the third. He said Young, despite being down five, is about as dangerous as they come. He said a Greco specialist. But another good high crotch there by Heil. He's just generated all the offense here. In deep, trying to come around. Young comes through his legs. Now Heil tries to elevate. Cuts it off to a double, trying to... Still nothing worth. There's your two for Dean Heil. Now seven nothing. And Coach Urbanis is screaming one more takedown for Heil. He knows they're going to need every half point they can get. And a major decision here would be gigantic in the team standings. Another two now... Another two now, a 9-1 lead for Heil. He's got his major decision. If he can ride the rest of the way, and Young has had trouble from bottom. If he can ride it the rest of the way, this makes team standings even closer as we head into the rest of the night. This is, I think, exactly what Ed's wanted in their first match. You got 35 seconds to go. We get a fired up pair of edge coaches in the corner. They are just as aware of Hiles, as how important it is for him to ride him these last 34 seconds. Barring a miracle, he's got his individual title locked up. Now he's wrestling for the team title too. He's got that boot in deep. Young can't really go anywhere. Eighteen seconds to go. Stall warning green. 16 to go. Now he's going to have to avoid another stall call. He will lose his major decision. Young right up to his feet off the whistle. Tries to roll. Heil follows him. 
12 to go. And Young's gonna reverse here. Four seconds to go. One. So time is up. Dean Heil, your 103 pound state champion. Heil, a freshman, and a absolutely tremendous accomplishment here in his first trip to Columbus. Shakes, shakes his mentor coach's hands and then runs over. What a moment for a freshman. One state title and one trip to Columbus.